Polk County is one step closer to turning six struggling schools over to a private operator. But as ABC Action News reporter Andrea Lyon discovered, it's something the school board feels they are being forced to do. I think it needs to happen. Well, some parents are horrified to hear their children's school may be run by someone other than the school district next year. Jenny Slockley is hoping it helps. I think that the animals run the zoo and there's no control from the zookeepers and something needs to happen. Her daughter's school, Bartow Middle, is among the six schools failing according to Florida standards all receiving D's and F's in the last three years. I believe that there are possibly some good teachers here. There's a lot of teachers that can't control the classroom. If they don't up their grades by this summer, an external operator will be taking over. Tuesday morning, the superintendent recommended educational directions, a consulting firm with experience in turning schools around. If they don't make the seat, they're also willing to work with us and collaborate more as a partnership. The cost up to $350,000 per school for the first year, $250,000 per school each year after that. When they make the C grade, we looked at a company that's willing to release those schools back to us. But I'm not going to actively vote to hurt kids. Some school board members say the cost is being pulled straight from Polk County kids. You're going to be hurt no matter where you are because that's money we can't spend on, te on, te on teachers. It's money we can't spend on enrichment for kids. Parents say they just want what's best for their children's future. And, and get somebody in here that can control what's going on. It would be a great thing. In Polk County, Andrea Lyon, ABC Action News.